All right, Joe, thank you. Well, each day, older adults in our community rely on home and community-based services and programs like Meals on Wheels. And for five decades, the Older Americans Act, or OAA, has supported many of these programs and services. Our Washington correspondent, Brendan Scanlon, he's live in Capitol Hill, where lawmakers are working to authorize, reauthorize the OAA. Brendan? Hey there, Renata and Nick. Good evening. Well, the Older Americans Act was passed in 1965 with the goal of helping seniors stay in their homes and in their communities living independently and with dignity for as long as possible. Now, reauthorizing the act is vital for a wide array of health and social services programs that are provided through state units on aging and area agencies on aging. It helps fund senior community centers, home delivered meals, health and wellness programs, in-home care, transportation, elder abuse prevention, caregiver support, and adult daycare. Senator Bob Casey was a lead negotiator of the bill to reauthorize the Older Americans Act. Casey says he fought to strengthen advocacy for long-term care residents, provide new support for grandparents raising grandchildren, and make it easier for low-income seniors to access nutritious meals. We still have work to do to make sure that the full measure of support can be provided to seniors, especially, especially when it comes to nutrition services. That's one of the hallmarks of what the Older Americans Act means to our seniors. Renata and Nick, the Older Americans Reauthorization Act passed through the Senate Health, Education, Labor and Pensions Committee on Wednesday. The next step is full consideration on the Senate floor. Reporting live on Capitol Hill for WENY News, I'm Brendan Scanlon, Renata and Nick, back to you.